Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Speed Super Sonic, bringing you guys another video, and today we are back again talking about Sonic Frontiers. This game is obviously one of the most anticipated Sonic projects coming up in 2022. Obviously, we have a lot of Sonic stuff coming in 2022 in all forms of media, but the next mainline Sonic game is a very big deal. It's something that a lot of people are obviously very much so looking forward to. So people are going to be digging and looking for stuff, any piece of info that we can take away from this brand new game. And this is kind of similar to when the first Sonic Frontiers trailer dropped back in May at Sonic Central. People went digging, looking around on 4chan for any leaks that might be surrounding the actual game, and surprise, surprise, people found at least two ones that were actually, like, reputable. And people went digging again for more Sonic Frontiers leaks, this time using keywords such as Starfall Islands, etc., and people were actually able to find a decent amount of stuff. We have a lot of Sonic Frontiers stuff from all the way back in 2019. Yes, 2019, the year that, like, TSR happened and the first Sonic movie trailer came out. This is a while ago, like this is old, but it actually provides new info on the game. Just a heads up, some of the images we'll be looking at are taken from a computer, so we're not able to read entire sentences, entire paragraphs, we'll kind of have to guess what some of the words are, but there is a lot of info in here, and it's not fuzzy, you can still read stuff, gather enough information from the leaks. We have two to go over today, uh, and there's a third one that I think I'll be talking about in a video tomorrow. I want to point this out right now, this leak that you're seeing right here, a lot of people are talking like it is Frontiers, that is not the case, this is a completely different game. So yes, this image right here with different characters and online and classic Sonic supposedly, that stuff right there is not a part of Frontiers, that is a different concept for a game, so don't worry. I just wanted to point that out, get that out there. Now let's actually talk about the Frontiers League. Apparently it was concept E out of ABCD, so there were other concepts here, we only see two. Action, adventure, one player, no multiplayer, so if you guys are hoping for co-op or something like that, sorry, not gonna happen. A world unexplored. A new free roaming action slash adventure game that propels the Sonic franchise in a bold new direction. The evil Dr. Eggman has created an amazing AI entity that has spiraled out of control. Meanwhile, Sonic wakes up groggy and suffering from amnesia with questions aplenty. I'm guessing that's what it says. It cuts off, but I'm going to go with that. But few answers. So how do we know that that is legit? It almost perfectly lines up with the synopsis that we got from Polygon, which I think has since been removed, actually. I guess Sega didn't want it out there. Why would you put that in your press release or however they got that information? if you didn't want to know, I don't know. It basically aligns perfectly with that, but the biggest new piece of info that we can take from this synopsis is the fact that Sonic wakes up with the amnesia. Now, amnesia is like personally one of my least favorite plot lines in any form of media, specifically like movies. But what I've seen a lot of people talking about is that it's almost identical to uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That game has Link waking up with amnesia. This obviously is taking a lot of inspiration from Breath of the Wild, not just in its gameplay, but now apparently taking aspects from its story. How Sonic has amnesia, what is going on, he doesn't know and we don't know, obviously. So hopefully that will be a fun uh, little adventure to go on uh, in finding out like secrets progressively as the story goes on. I think that has a lot of opportunity for something fun, but I'll, I'm, I'm a little more accepting because that's never been done in Sonic before. Now, the rest of this leak are a bunch of bullet points right here that provides more solid insight uh, on what we can expect from not only uh, the story, but the gameplay, which I know you guys are really interested in, so let's dive into that. The Sonic Universe characters you love, four exotic islands to explore, skyscraper-sized titan boss battles. So, the Sonic Universe characters you love, already in that plot synopsis that we got from Polygon, which I know I keep mentioning, but it actually to provide a lot of info, uh, kind of implies that Sonic's friends will be in there, not only uh, with Eggman already being confirmed in the synopsis, but Amy being, we're not 100% sure if it's confirmed, it, it might have just been a slip up, people might have been confused, but uh, that Xbox thing like we mentioned has the closed caption of Amy. Not just that, but under Mike Pollock's tweet where he says, yo, I'm coming back for Frontiers, this is so cool, Colleen O'Shaughnessy replied, same, so I, I guess they're spilling the beans, not sure if they're supposed to, but thanks guys. So Tails will be in the game as well, how many other characters? Not sure. I'm sure there'll be a decent amount because it is mentioned saving Sonic's friends. So uh, I'm sure there are a bunch of uh, different Sonic characters from the universe. They'll be in the game. Now I've seen a lot of people talking about this four exotic islands. A lot of people think this means like only four locations, and that might be the case. But what I'm thinking is that there are four different islands with like multiple different locations on the island. If that makes any sense, like one island can have like snow and a desert, and the other one can be more mountainy and then a swamp as well. Well, that's what I'm kind of taking away from it. Plus, like if you just like look at the footage. 
It looks huge. I'm not sure if there are only like four uh, different distinct biomes or not, but uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. It doesn't worry me too much simply because I think Sega knows that these levels and uh, these maps will have to be absolutely giant because Sonic already moves so quickly unless you're gonna slow Sonic down Which would be a huge mistake. I don't think Sega would make the mistake of having Sonic like Sonic boom in a level of speed Which would be awful and this one we got teased in the actual trailer itself skyscraper size Titan boss battles which sounds so cool we heard about these in some of the leaks I was expecting more like monster like creatures more nature based like a tree monster or a fire monster or something like that but no it's like these giant robotic futuristic giant like titans and I guess that's what they're going to be referred to as uh, because we will be talking more about this whole titans aspect of the game and it appears that these titans uh, will be playing a major role in the story not just that but obviously the gameplay uh, they seem absolutely huge which I love the scale of this game is so so big and ambitious and I love that. Adventure through vast terrains and explore the Starfall Islands. Nothing too much to say there. We've known that this is an open world game. We know that it's called Starfall Islands. Once again, I love the name of that. New close combat system and unique powerful moves to take down enemies. We heard about this before. I see a lot of people talking about the forces design and idle animation and stuff like that. And yeah, it's not my favorite Sonic design. I'd prefer if it was new. A lot of people are holding on to hope that it's a placeholder, but I don't expect it to control like Sonic forces mainly because of this fact right here. Close combat combat. There'll be punches, kicks, etc. It won't be so firm and straight, I don't believe. It will be a very different controlling Sonic. That's just my prediction. I don't know that. No one's told me that. It's not like Takashi Zuka rung me up. It's like, hey, Ricardo, uh, just so you know, it doesn't control anything like forces. So I have faith. I, I, I have faith, and I'm glad that it's close combat. I think that could be fun. Go Super Sonic mode to battle massive skyscraper-sized enemy titans. Now, I'm not sure if you can go super against all of these titans, because if we're going to be taking anything away from the four different islands, Islands, there might be four different Titans or seven different Titans. You never know. However many Titans there are, uh, which I'm assuming that they're multiple because it mentions multiple Titans. I wonder if you can go super against all of them because I'm not sure if Sonic would be able to take on each one uh, just on his own. So that would be cool if you can go super like multiple times in the game opposed to just the end because I don't know if that's ever been done before in a Sonic game, which I think that'd be really fun. Strengthen skills to level up Sonic's abilities. That's really fun. I love that aspect of Sonic Unleashes leveling them up. And even if it does doesn't like it's not the coolest thing in the world it doesn't have the most variety this mentioned like a skill tree which it seems like obviously this game will have since these leaks have essentially been verified so I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun leveling up Sonic and seeing what kind of attacks that we can get solve puzzles and embark on quests across four exotic islands and hidden whatever it says if you look like at just some of the footage from the game you can see like different parts of it that like what is that it's probably a puzzle um, so we, we've heard about those puzzle segments before so that's fun thrilling graphics cinematic music and immersive atmosphere to create cut off there like I mentioned like some of this gets cut off it seems like they're really trying to make Starfall Islands its own special thing, different from any other Sonic level or any other thing that we've experienced before in this franchise, which is fun. We wanted something new, we wanted something different, and that's what they're giving us, and that's all that comes from that Sonic Frontiers leak. But there is one more thing, and that is a list of names that the game could have been called. One of them, I like talked about this on Twitter, uh, which by the way, follow my Twitter if you haven't already. I love the name Frontiers. I think it's really cool. I'm happy that it's called Frontiers, opposed to Rangers. I think Rangers was a kind of weird name for the kind of game it is. But there's some really cool names in here, like Sonic the Hedgehog, Rise of the Titans, Sonic Starfall, which is my favorite name, Sonic Freedom, Sonic Free Runner, which is, I, I, don't, I don't like that one, Sonic Rising, Sonic Evolutions, Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis, what a weird name, Sonic the Hedgehog Titans Rising. Two of these mention Titans which is a big part of the game. In that concept that we just read, Titans were mentioned a lot and how big and massive they are and uh, how you'd be able to go super and fight them. And the fact that they were thinking about for three of these titles, titling it Sonic the Hedgehog and then a subtitle kind of reminds me of 06 in a way and how like obviously that game was just called Sonic the Hedgehog but having it have a subtitle like that shows a lot of confidence in like maybe just having the Sonic series be called Sonic the Hedgehog. I wouldn't have been opposed to the first one. I think Rise of the Titans is a really cool name. Obviously I think Starfall is really cool because the name is Starfall Islands. It matches up pretty well. I think Starfall sounds like a really cool name. It just sounds cool. It's the main reason I like it. But yeah those are some of the names they were going with none of them were rangers or frontiers which was the last two uh, that they were coming down to obviously 
Rangers didn't make the cut. It's Frontiers now officially and will forever be. And I don't know, man. I like those other titles. I think they sound really cool. Anyways, those were the Sonic Frontiers leaks from all the way back in 2019. All this stuff is really interesting. Obviously, we know a lot about it, but it just provides a lot of insight and like further elaboration on what we were wondering and like definitive proof, such as like the close combat, Super Sonic, which is like definitive now. We knew that it would play some kind of role in there. No mention of the Chaos Emeralds. Uh, that was not mentioned at all, not even in the plot synopsis. So how Super Sonic will work? It's always worked through the Chaos Emeralds. Maybe it won't this time. We'll have to wait and see. There are a lot of there were a lot of questions answered, but that also leaves the door open for a lot of questions that I'm sure will be uh, asked. I'm already asking questions right now. Let me know what you guys think of all of this new Sonic Frontiers information from all the way back in 2019. I can't believe it came out all the way back then. Once again, like I mentioned, we'll be talking about that other concept uh, in another video. So to stay up to date on that and all things Sonic Frontiers, make sure you subscribe to the channel. This is the best place on YouTube for all things Sonic Frontiers, all things Sonic the Hedgehog. We talk about all things video games, TV shows, movies, comic books, merchandise, and more. 2022 is jam-packed with content, as I'm sure you guys know, and this is the number one destination for all things Sonic the Hedgehog. Feel free to follow my social media links to my Twitter and Instagram in the description below. You guys are the best. I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Yeah.